All right, so we have talked a lot about cost, the different ways of thinking about cost, long run cost, short run cost, fixed and variable. And now we want to think about different kinds of plants that we might run for generating power. But before we do that, we want to I want to talk generally about the kind of services that different kinds of plants offer. Uh, we'll think about specific kinds of plants we might run, coal, big coal plants, new solar plants. But what we want to think about now is what are each of these different kinds of plants, what kind of services are they offering to the grid, uh, generating power and other things. Because we need to keep in mind as we're going through our exercise, are the different services that plant, different kinds of plants create getting compensated properly? We want to think in, at each step of the way, we want to ask ourselves, how are the valuable characteristics of these plants being compensated? And so we're going to take a few minutes just to think about what those different services and different characteristics of plants are that we think might need to be, uh, we want to make sure are valued well by whatever sort of uh, uh, organizational strategy we have for dispatching our power plants. So we're going to consider the different services created by a plant. We want to emphasize that plants have a set of services that they create um, and what different characteristics of the plant have value. We think in particular about the value of flexibility and plants also offer a specific set of ancillary services that are needed to help keep the grid in good operating condition. Uh, so as we think about the flexibility characteristics of power plants and the ancillary services they offer, we, we want to be constantly asking ourselves, is the method we have for compensating owners of power plants going to compensate these valuable, these different val valuable characteristics of plants?